how to transfer domain from Wix to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, we are going to show you how you can have a domain on Wix.com and then how you can transfer it. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We are going to head over to Wix.com and sign in for our account. Once we have signed in, we are going to choose the website that we have at least the domain on. If you do not have a domain and don't know how to get a domain from Wix, it is okay. We're going to include that into the explanation. We're going to select the website, click on it, and then we are going to face up the Wix dashboard of that website. Now, we are going to wait some few seconds like that. And here, as you can see, we have the dashboard. What we're we going to do is in the meanwhile, we are going to prepare our Shopify store. For the Shopify menu. So we are going to head over Shopify, sign in for an account, and we are going to visit or face up the admin dashboard as you can see in here. Now we are going to scroll down a little bit into the uh, specific left side menu in here, click on settings, and from here we are going to head over the domains, which is going to be uh, head over here, click on it. And then you're going to see that we do not have a domain, only we have the uh, subdomain from Shopify. Now, back to Wix.com, we're going to see this specific menu. We are going to head over the settings. So let's pretend that the domain doesn't exist in here. So you're going to click on settings, or you can see at the end or of the day in here uh, on the home page, you're going to see everything required. So it is going to uh, stay requiring the domain and also the business email and then uh, the uh, plan to upgrade. So you can go ahead and click on connect domain or you can go ahead and click on settings in here. So I am going to scroll down a little bit on the settings until I see here site, domain and SEO category. So we are going to have here the third choice, which is domains. We're going to click on domain. And if you have a domain already, it is going to be showing up the domain. If you do not have the domain, you're going to select one and buy it. For example, you're going to click on online. I don't know here. You are going to put Jack store the online, and then you are going to have it just like this. Now, once you have the did or added the domain, you're going to click on get it or if you have bought it from for example a third party platform like Namecheap, GoDaddy or Hostinger you're going to admit that it is your own domain so you're going to click on get it then you're going basically to uh, buy the domain only like that or with the premium plan it is up to you after that if you have a bought of the domain you're going to see the domain and the settings of the DNS in here Instead of this connect a domain, you're going to see your own domain and it is going to be showing you something like that. So you're going to have the name of the domain like this. For example, in our case in here, we have bought maybe this Jack stored online. We only need this name. So we are going to copy only that name in here. Uh, in all of the cases, we're going to head over Shopify. Now we're going to see the domains on Shopify store. We are going to click on connect existing domain, not buy new one. We have already one. Click on it. And instead of clicking on connect existing, we're going to have a third choice, which is transfer it to Shopify. So you can see here that we have this option. Or if your domain meets the requirements, you can transfer it to Shopify. So we are going to click on it. And then we are going to paste up our domain. So, for example, I'm going to have this one. Uh, this is from Namecheap. I have bought it. We're going only to have the uh, specific, um, let's say here, um, demonstration. We are going to click on next. And then we are going to see it right there. So, uh, here, as you can see, this uh, domain is already managed by another store. So, this is, uh, I don't know why, but... We do not uh, have another store by own Shopify for that domain, but it is going to be the uh, thing. So in here, I'm going to give you another example. So it is okay to have another example. 
like a simple domain in here we are going to click on next and i'm going to show you the further steps so for example it is going to have this domain the domain to transfer is going to be including the name the price includes six months carried over the from the current registration plus one more year which is going to cost you 16 dollars per year depending on the specific uh, domain that you are going to have I think that it is going to be standard $16. Then it is going to take, uh, as you can see, a period from seven to 10 days to complete. I think that it is not going to take that long, maybe a um, 24 to 48 hours at max, I think. And then you're going to have it in here. So when the transfer, uh, or when you transfer your domain to Shopify, you will buy another year of registration. So this is going to be um, here and not, I'm not going to say that it is included, but you need to pay it anyway. So as you can see, any remaining time on your current registrations carrier over the to Shopify when you transfer. So you're going to read this and also you're going to have this. So this is included, I think, and this is the final price. Now for the preparation of the domain to transfer, you're going to have to follow up these four steps. The first step is to log into your current domain registration provider. So uh, here, as you can see uh, this one, you're going to head over it and then you're going to connect the name or not the name, but the username and also the password. So aside from that, you're going to head over and confirm your email is up to date. So that means that you need to follow up the instructions unlock your domain so that it is going to be eligible to transfer and copy the domain transfer authentication code and paste it below it so in wix it is going to be the same thing so you're going to have everything set up unfortunately i cannot get my hand on the uh, dashboard of the dns's and also the uh, domains menu because it it, it requires a specific um a plan that should be premium and etc so we are going to uh, have the name cheap instead so it is going to be the same thing every uh, domain um, uh, registrar is going to have the same platform so you're going to head over your domain list remember that you're going to head over the main list i'm going to head over back and then we're going to have to manage our domain so in the domain management we're going to head over transfer and sharing so this is going to be the next step as you can see the main lock we're going to unlock it and then we're going to demand the authentication code so you're going to put the reason uh, why are you going to transfer your domain for example put some comments and then you're going to click on send code and you're going to have a authentication code so I'm going to lock it. I'm not going to transfer it uh, really, but the uh, authentication code is going to be uh, getting for this specific window. You're going to put it in here. For example, you're going to have a long authentication code, including letters and also numbers. Then you're going to click on start transfer. So it is going to set up everything right here. So it is not going to uh, set up something else. You're going to see a um, here are the operation included in here and after that uh, after the transfer is finished you're going to head over the domains again and you're going to see uh, for example here we have a first or our only uh, domain or a subdomain you're going to see your uh, second domain that you have added in here so that was very simple and very easy uh, this includes uh, as you can saw or you have read before it is going to have uh, the plan, the already plan registered for the domain, which is going to be maybe a year, maybe a six month that you have. It is, uh, or Shopify is going to calculate everything. And you should buy uh, at least 12 months or one year of uh, subscription for that domain, which is not going to be that expensive. It is only going to be $16. So this is something that you should bear, or you can go ahead and afford if you're going to transfer that. So for the uh, specific advantages that you're going to get on Shopify, it is not going to be an external domain. This is something one. So you're not going to have here to set up the DNS and also maybe you are going to have 
management of IPs and etc. So this is going to be only locally secured, locally connected, and you do not need anything else. So if you're going, for example, to connect a domain from uh, Wix or another platform provider to the current domain that you have, you need to head over the domain and then you're going to uh, set up the DNS. So this is going to be something that is uh, going to take a little bit of time. So you are going to head over DNS, like you can see in here, and then you are going to add a C name, a A record, a text record, and etc. So this is something that is going to take a little bit of time. But aside from that, if you are going to transfer to Shopify.com, it is going to have everything in order and everything is going to be well organized. So the integration is going to be fully and you do not need to set it up somewhere else. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.